हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट और एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चंस ऑफ चैप्टर वन दिस क्वेश्चंस आर एक्चुअली नॉट इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक सो आई हैड फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लास्ट टेन ईयर और फिफ्टीन ईयर सैम्पल पेपर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द आंसर ऑफ दैट क्वेश्चन विच आर नॉट इन योर टेक्सट बुक सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर कैन टू नंबर हैव 18 as their hcf and 380 as their lcm give reason means this 18 is hcf and 380 is lcm can any two number have this as 18 as hcf and 380 as lcm so how we can find out we know that all the factors of hcf should always present in lcm so if we divide this 380 by 18 and if we are getting remainder 0 then we can say that this number is perfectly divisible by 18 so this 18 and 380 are possible as hcf and lcm of any two number but here if i divide this 380 by 18 we are not getting remainder 0 so no because hcf is always a factor of lcm but here 18 is not a factor of 380 so this is not possible So this way we can solve this sum. Moving towards question number two, find the HCF of fifty-two and one one seven, and express it in form fifty-two x plus one one seven y. So first we have to find out the HCF of fifty-two and one one seven. We can find out with prime factorization also, and we can find out with Euclid's division algorithm. I am going to use Euclid's algorithm. Why that I am going to tell you at last. Because we have to express it in fifty-two x plus one one seven. So first, by Euclid's division algorithm, this one is greater and this one is smaller. So divide one one seven by fifty-two. Look here, I had done division one one seven by fifty-two. Fifty-two twos are one zero four, and the remainder is thirteen. So now arrange it. So look here, one one seven is equals to fifty-two into two plus thirteen. This is Euclid's division algorithm. Now fifty-two will go here. And we have to divide fifty-two with the remainder that is thirteen. So fifty-two divided by thirteen, thirteen fours are fifty-two, and the remainder is zero. So here we are getting remainder zero. So we have divided by thirteen. So thirteen is our HCF. This is our HCF. That is final. But now what we have to we have to express it in the form of fifty-two x plus one one seven. So look here in this line, in this line we are getting. This fifty two x and one one seven. We want to and uh, the HCF is thirty. So if I want to express this in that form, that fifty two x plus one one seven y equals to thirteen. So how I can explain? Look here. This is on this side, and if I add these two, then that number will be bigger. Now I have to subtract this. So this one should be greater, and this one should be. Negative number and this should be positive number. So if I take this instead of two minus two means fifty two into minus two plus and this I take one with this one one seven into one then I will obviously get answer thirty. This will become negative number that is minus one zero four plus one one seven gives you thirty. Look here from this only we got this. so that's why you have to use a brain and you have to put up the number by putting and taking chance that either i take one or two or three that's why you have to keep it the number and you have to find out so this way they have taken look here 52 into minus 2 plus 1 7 into 1 equals to 13 so your x will be minus 2 and y will be 1 so this way we can solve this sum now moving towards the next question question number 3 If HCF six comma a equals to two and LCM six comma a equals to sixty, find a. So what they are telling that HCF of these two numbers six comma a equals to two and LCM of the same number six comma a is sixty, then find a. For solving this sum, we we are having one formula that the product of two numbers that is first number into second number that will be always equal to HCF into LCM. So look here, the first number into second number that will be equal to 
HCF into LCM. Now we are going to put up the things in that. 6, first number A, second number, then HCF 2, LCM 60. Now take this 6 in the denominator and we are going to divide it. Look here, we had taken this here and cancelled out. So 2 tens are 20. So your A will be equal to 20. That this way we can find out A. Now moving towards the next question. Find the greatest number of 5 digit exactly divisible by 12, 15 and 36. So greatest 5 digit number that is exactly divisible by 12 also, 15 also and 36. So first we have to find out the LCM of 12, 15 and 36. Let us find out. First I am finding here by prime factorization me method. So 12 factor of 12 is 2 into 2 into 3. Factors of 15 that is 3 into 5. And factors of 36 that is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Now the LCM. First we have to take common in all this. So this 3 is common in all this. So 1, 3. Then 2 is common in this 2. Then 2. Again 2 is common in this 2. 2. Now the remaining number. Here 5 and here 3. So 3 into 5. Now if you multiply this whole number you will get answer 180. Look here. HCF will be 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 that is 180. So the LCM of this 3 numbers is 180. Now they said find the greatest number of 5 digit number. Now 5 greatest 5 digit number that is 99999. 5 numbers are there. The greatest number of 5 digit is 99999. Now we have to find the greatest number that is divis that should be divisible by 180. So first we have to divide this. Look here, I had divided it and I find out that I am getting remainder 99. If I subtract this 99 from this, then the remainder number, I had subtract this, this 90 from this 99999 and I got 99900. Now I come to know that this 99900 is exactly divisible by 180. So what we can say? Then we can say that this 99900 can be exactly divisible by 12, 15 and 36 without any remainder. So this way we can solve this sum and moving towards the last question. Find the smallest number which when increased by 20 is exactly divisible by 90 and 140. Here they had not given us any number that we 5 digit or 4 digit but they said any number smallest number that should be divisible by these two. Again we have to find out the LCM by prime factorization what you would like but I am not going to do here directly I am going to tell you the LCM of this 90 and 144 is 720. Now 720 is exactly divisible by these two but they said find the smallest number which when increased by 20 so they are going to increase. If they are going to increase, we have to subtract that 20 from this. So, the smallest number when increased by 20 and divisible by 90 and 144 equals to 720. They are going to increase, so we have to subtract this. This number is 700. So, if anybody want to divide and check, then they have to increase by 20. So, that will become 720 and then they... So our answer is 700. So this way we can solve this sum. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel so that I can bring more such videos for you. Thank you so much.